What's up everybody, I'm Ari from WarriorFly.com and I'm here with the Samsung Behold 2 for T-Mobile. So we're going to pop the Behold 2 out of the box and then take a quick look at it. And the Behold 2 is the fourth Android phone for the T-Mobile network and it's going to be running TouchWiz 2.0 and we've been seeing TouchWiz, which is Samsung's user interface on pretty much any Samsung device that you can think of. And right away you could also see the cubed menu here and the Behold 2 is going to have a unique cube menu for navigating media content. So we'll take a quick look at that as well. On the back here, 3G enabled, Android, music and video player, it does have a 5 megapixel camera. It says real web browsing, email and messaging, and a high res touchscreen. It's an AMOLED uh, touchscreen, resistive touch. We'll take a closer look at that. So if we pop it out of the box, there's the whole cube theme again. And I did forget my unnecessarily large knife, so let's see what we can open this with. Got a key here. Just peel that off. Alright. So, here is the Behold 2. There's the T-Mobile packaging with all of your user manuals and such on the top. We do have a full-size user manual, which is a rare find these days. Got your getting started guide, see a lot of that, and services guide. Let's see what else is in the box before we get back to the phone itself. Looks like you have a nice felt carrying case. We'll pull it out real quick. Yep. Got your wall charger. It's like a micro SD adapter. Yep. Decent looking pair of headphones. You got your hands free button, 3.5 millimeter, and a micro USB syncing cable, also for charging, and here's your battery. We'll take this out. And just for a quick size comparison, I do have a droid and a click here both Android phones. Obviously the Droid is for Verizon. So get those lined up so you can see them. So the Droid looks to be about the biggest, but the uh, Behold 2 is actually the thinnest phone here. So slightly thinner than the Droid and a little less than a quarter of an inch thinner than the Click. So get those side by side here. And we'll pop in the battery and then come right back. So while the phone is turning on here, and to turn it on, you hold down your N key. I want to show you your SIM card slot, and it also comes pre installed with a 2 gigabyte micro SD card. And here's your backing with a 5 megapixel camera, and also you can see your flash. So while it's doing that, we'll get the back back on, just slide it on, clicks into place. You have another plastic covering. Looks like a stenciling of a globe on the back. Nice and glossy. Here's your with Google branding. It is a 5 megapixel camera with autofocus. And the camera key here is actually a two-way camera key, so if you hold down halfway, it'll focus. And if you push it down full way, obviously it'll take the picture. And on the left of the phone, you have your volume rocker. Looks like your microphone on the bottom. There's your lock key. A lot of Android phones, you can just hit the menu, but on the Behold 2, you got your lock key like we see with a lot of the Samsung devices. 
3.5 millimeter headphone jack on top. You have a area for a lanyard there. And a micro USB port on top as well for charging and syncing. You have your four-way directional key, your menu key, back key, home key, send key, and also your cube menu key. Oh, forgetting it myself. So your lock key on the side. We'll go back home. So right away you can tell it is not quite the standard Android interface. Again, it is TouchWiz 2.0. You can see at the bottom they've even made it to look like TouchWiz. And you pull out the full Android menu from the side. So here is your full Android menu with all of your applications. But just like we've seen in TouchWiz, drag and drop. Now we have two cubes on the screen. And like usual, drag and drop back to the trash. Here's your notifications window. Looks like it has a TouchWiz notification window as well. With easy access to your settings. So I'm guessing, yep, that'll bring you into your phone settings. Let's check out the cube. So just flip around. So it really kind of just looks like to a shortcut to your media options. But kind of a cool interface. You do have three home screens to choose from and you can customize them as you please of course any home screen indicator there that lets you know which one you're in and you can change each individual picture on the home screen there's kind of a cubed animation effect almost like you're trapped within a cube and uh, animation seems to be fairly smooth for the most part it has pre pretty standard Android specs 528 megahertz processor 256 megabytes of RAM and we'll long press see what widgets we got so it looks like pretty standard fare here for widgets. With phones like the uh, HTC Hero, we did see a whole bunch of customized widgets with the Sense user interface, but it doesn't look like too many here. But of course you can go to the Android market and download plenty more widgets and applications. And it is a very nice AMOLED 3.2 inch screen, resistive touch. And it's not going to be as high resolution as some of the other Android devices we've had coming out. Most recently, the Droid, which is a very impressive resolution, but still looks great. And that is a quick look at the Samsung Behold 2 for T-Mobile. Remember to check out Wirefly.com for a great deal on the Behold 2. I'm Ari from Wirefly.com. Thanks for watching. Check us out for the full review coming up in a few days.